So we're talking about the issue of Kiwis in detention centres in Australia this morning. Joining me in studio, Labour MP Calvin Davis, Indigenous rights lawyer Dale Takitimu and Garth McVicker, founder of the Sensible Sentencing Trust, Tien Nakotu. Thank you all for being here this morning. Um, Calvin, let's start with you. It's been a bit of a messy week in Parliament. Um, some speculation that the comments that John Key made uh, towards you about supporting rapists and murderers was a bit of a dead cat and wanted to distract uh, and deter people from discussing the real issues. If that was the case, did it seem to have that effect? Uh, it probably did, because, but the issue is the human rights abuses that are going on in the detention centres, and we need to swing back to that. You know, if Australia really feel they have to detain people, then they just need to do it humanely. And there are beatings, there's uh, um, the forced isolation, there's the segregation, uh, the poor food, the uh, lack of contact with families, with lawyers. Uh, it just all added up to a situation where it was going to blow, and it did. Yeah. Uh, human rights abuses, in your view, Dale? Oh, definitely, and I think that's um, it's mischievous of the Prime Minister to take it down a distracting pathway. New Zealand is now a member of the Security Council of the United Nations and needs to begin acting like it, and in which case its nearest neighbour, Australia, involved in massive human rights breaches, basically being called the Guantanamo Bay of the South, needs to be called to account, and who better to do that than the Prime Minister of this country, and he needs to step up and start acting in a Prime Ministerial fashion. So what did you make of those comments, Calvin, when those were, were thrown at you? Oh, I just brushed them off. I wasn't particularly worried. Um, the, and uh, again, it just detracted from the real issues about the way people have been treated. Now, none of these guys are angels, but that doesn't mean that uh, they should be abused because actually the criminal acts in the detention centres are now being committed by the Australian authorities. I, I do want to talk about that. It's the important reason that we're here, but I just want to wrap up this, what went on in Parliament this week. So you want to see uh, some progress on that front when you have comments like that going um, back and forth, not helpful. No, and, uh, well, uh, wrong. And the way that uh, the, the Speaker cut off those women who were standing up to express that they were uh, upset and offended by the Prime Minister's comments. They just added to the whole shutting down of people who are speaking out about sexual violence. And, you know, the hikoi that I, I um, undertook in May was all about speaking out, you know, get people to speak out because then it's easy to talk about. But it was just a big distraction and uh, the way the Speaker cut those women off was, I believe, deplorable. What did you make of it all, Garth, in Parliament this week? We are pretty horrified, really. I mean, we've got some serious issues here from our perspective. We are very worried that uh, you know, basically these deportees were going to be dumped back here and we were going to be, as a society, be uh, subjected to them without any monitoring. I know and, and things are changing here yeah. now, but ultimately that was our big concern. We've already had some debacles happening in New Zealand with killings happening when they've been deported. So we're, it's the seriousness of so, this nature so that's got to be dealt with. So let's talk about that in a little bit, about what Amy Adams has proposed through this uh, yep. Supervision Revision Bill. But, um, Calvin, your, your comments to the Prime Minister uh, calling him gutless, we had Judith Collins saying that as Prime Minister he deserves more than that. Do you agree? No, it, it, we needed to draw attention to the fact that the government has done nothing at the prime ministerial level um, in talks with your, his Australian counterparts in uh, addressing the human rights issues. And then it was uh, reinforced when the Australians were under the uh, universal periodic review of their human rights. And again, New Zealand didn't address the real issues. So you so wanted to get have, attention? We have been gutless, or when I say we, the prime minister and the government have been gutless in addressing uh, human rights. Yeah, human rights uh, apply to everyone. There's no bias. And uh, they've just totally ignored it and now he's turned it into another uh, a sideshow. But I just want to take up on Garth's point and uh, these changes to uh, the way people are going to be treated when they come back. Now that's for prisoners who are going to be paroled. These, so they might have um, six months of parole conditions coming out of prison. But these guys aren't prisoners, they're detainees and they may have been in, in detention for three years. Will those conditions actually apply to them? because they're detainees coming back, not prisoners. So there's questions around uh, what um, Amy Adams is, yeah, is proposing. Yeah.